Put your wonderful hands together for the Lord. Praise God. I count it a very, very great privilege to be here tonight and be a part of this wonderful celebration at this valedictory service for God's servant, Bishop David Abuye. And tonight, for the next two minutes or so, first, I want to say a very big congratulations to God's servant, Bishop David Olatunji Abuye, and his wonderful wife, and the entire family. For God taking you through all these years and bringing you this far. I want to say very clearly, it's been a long journey. I've known Bishop Abioye ever before the ministry started. And you have been there from inception from the days of small beginnings. When in the powerhouse, we used to have camp meetings in secondary school and eating with borrowed plastic plates and spoons. And here we are today, over 40 years after, waxing stronger in the Lord. The journey has been long, and God has been faithful. Therefore, I celebrate you tonight, and I want to leave you with these two scriptures. One, Proverbs 4.18, the path of the just shines brighter and brighter. Therefore, you haven't seen anything yet. Amen. Because God leads forward, He doesn't lead backward. Therefore, the best is here to come. Let me hear your believing. Amen. Second scripture Jesus said, Occupy till I come. Therefore, greater grace, I believe, shall be released tonight for greater exploits. Amen. Can I hear your believing? Amen. Amen. God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo has said over and again, life is in phases. Together we have gone through different phases of life. And now another phase is unfolding. And this phase shall be greater. Amen. It shall be forward moving. And the testimonies shall continue to be on the increase. Yeah. Therefore, I congratulate you and know that together we shall run this race to the end. Yeah. And be able to hear from the master, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Yeah. To each one of us here tonight, I see God also taking us to higher heights. Yeah. You are here celebrating celebration will be your portion forever. God bless you. Have a wonderful season. Please put your hands together for Jesus for that inspiring word. Hallelujah. Please join me as we welcome Pastor Paul Enenche from Dunamis International. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a big clap as we take our seats? I want to, first of all, appreciate God's servant, 
my father and the Lord Bishop David Oyedepo for the platform given to every one of us, including the celebrant of today, for the fulfillment of ministry and life's assignment. We thank you, sir, for being so selfless in releasing the deposit of God in your life upon the children coming up, and we are eternally grateful. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise for our Father and the Lord. Tonight we are here to celebrate the life of a man. And all I will say is just a few things that we can pick from the stewardship of God's servant, Bishop David Abioye. I think the first thing that I saw is that making a difference is superior to making a living. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 said, what things soever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. That is the summary of God's servant, Bishop David O. Abioye. Making a difference wherever you are found, place ahead of just making a living. Making meaning, not just making money. Making impact, not just making income. The struggle to make a mark, not the struggle to make a name. The struggle to know, not just the struggle to be known. The struggle to point you to the person up. I remember at the beginning of our ministry, we had met with our Father and the Lord and started relationship before the ministry started. But at the beginning of the ministry, he was in Lagos and we are here. And Bishop Abiyo was in Kaduna. So we decided, let's get close to him and whatever will connect from our Father, we can, it can flow through him as well. And I got close to him. And he said, no, our father is in Lagos. We can reach him. And he put a call through. He pointed me from himself to our father in the Lord. And I will never forget that for life. Finally, he's a man who has done very, very tireless, brutal labor. And like mama has just said, I want to say to you, sir, the best days are ahead. There is never a wasted labor in the kingdom. God reward you, sir, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's welcome Bishop John Priest for a word. Put your hands together for Jesus as we welcome him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, I say wave your hand and shout hallelujah. I'd like to salute our father in the Lord, the apostle of this commission, whom I made uh, in the first seminar he came for in Kaduna, 1983. And since then I would followed him at various stages in life and ministry. And I think it was the same time Made with the celebrant, Bishop David Abioye. And um, I observe that he was a man that was full of humility. You can't beat the humility in him. Humility in the place of service. The Bible says, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ. That even though he was God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself of no reputation. And took upon him the form of a servant, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, wherefore God had highly exalted him. Bishop Abioye made of himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant. 
And all as I was growing up and into ministry, I had not seen a man like Bishop Abio who had served in the capacity that way he had served, you know, in humility and uh, to his own mentor and bishop and father. And we've used him severally as an example of what it means to be an armor bearer and to serve. And we are grateful to God that what he has done and the example he has shown to upcoming ministries and ministers will never go down. And we say congratulations to him and to the face that is ahead of him. Because like mama said, the path of the just is like a shining light. And we want to say to him, Bishop David Abioye, greater glory ahead of you. I say greater glory ahead of you. The rest of your life shall be the best of your life. And the best of you is just ahead of you. God bless you and thank you.